King Human here, and uh, this is a quick video. I gotta talk really fast because I got a lot to say, and I'm gonna try and cram it into this video. I'm gonna try and cram as much information for you into this video as I can. I've been getting a lot of emails from people saying, hey, King Human, give us more on your eBay tips and tricks because you're an expert and we know you know all kinds of stuff on it and you make a lot of money on eBay, so clue us. So I'm going to clue you onto a couple of things while my computer's rebooting. I'm, I'm in the middle of redoing my whole studio here, so um, quick video, you know, what can I say? I'm going to do better videos as soon as my studio's going, and uh, that brings me to another subject. Go subscribe to my Metacafe channel, and uh, I'm going to be posting a lot of videos on this stuff over at Metacafe, and it's all going to be really good stuff, really good information, not crap. I'm not going to tell you, you know, have a f hidden affiliate links. It's not going to be bogus shit. I notice a lot of people are uh, putting video replies to my how to make money videos. And it's all, oh, good information, King Human, but go see my thing. You know, cash gifting. Cash gifting. Give me a break. Cash gifting is a pyramid scheme. It's illegal, people. It's illegal. Go to the Federal Trade Commission website and read about Ponzi schemes. Don't do it. It's scam. So, uh, FTC.gov, Ponzi schemes, cash gifting. Anyway eBay back to eBay uh, there's a few things you can do to make money on eBay and I get this all the time what can I do I don't know what to find I don't can't go to a trade show I can't find a product what do I do you can actually buy items off of eBay and resell them on eBay for a great profit and uh, all you have to do is have some basic information first of all you have to know that when you start your auction is when your auction is gonna end on eBay and that's critical. It's a critical time when you start your auctions or launch your auctions. The best time to start your auctions on eBay are Friday evenings between 6 and 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Why? Because they, the, the demographics show that's when the most amount of people are actually on eBay. Plus, there's a psychological dynamic to it. People are in a happy mood. It's Friday. They're off work. They're looking forward to the weekend, and they're more likely to throw some bids out there it makes sense so you want to start your auctions at that time now how does that work for you I had a friend that used to buy these uh, PDA phones you know and he would he, he, he would spend hours to save a nickel this guy I mean a great guy but um, he would buy these phones at like 3 in the morning and you know he'd come to me and say Dave I bought this phone for 10 bucks PDA phone, look, it works, everything's great. And that same phone sells on Friday evenings for uh, 60 to 75 bucks. I'm going, hey, man, you're buying these things for 10 bucks and they're selling for 75 bucks? You don't need to be a rocket surgeon to figure out there's a business there. All you need to do is buy those things at the wrong time, relist them at the right time, and you'll make money. Hey, that's a good idea. Duh. Okay. There's your idea, people. Now, to do it right, you're going to need to know a few things. First of all, you don't need to be up at 3 in the morning to buy these things. Just find when those auctions are going to end at 3 in the morning. And there's a thing out there, there's all kinds of sniper sites that will enter your bids at the last minute. E-Snipe, all these different snipe sites. So you don't have to wait till 3 in the morning sitting at a computer falling asleep bidding on this crap. Just set your bids with a snipe service and uh, Google uh, eBay sniping, you'll find all kinds of stuff. Um, also, when you buy something, it doesn't, you know, if you're not going to do palm phones or whatever, don't buy great big items and expect to resell them for good money because the bigger the item, the more it's going to cost you to get it to you shipping and the more it's going to cost you to ship it out. People are going to be resistant to pay the big shipping fees, so try and find something small that has a lot of value to it. Uh, secondly, when you list your items, list them Friday evenings between 6 and 8 p.m. Give that a try. See if it doesn't work better for you. And the third thing I want to really stress is your item description. That's where you guys are really fucking up big time. 
you're putting palm phone and you don't describe the palm phone you say must see really great look at it must um, amazing thing you know no that's a fuck up because people aren't gonna go on the eBay search engine and type for must see or amazing thing no they're gonna type palm 600 PFD whatever the fuck description it is that's what they're searching for they're not searching for all this other baloney garbage and people don't buy into that you know just because your thing says must see doesn't mean people think they must see it so with that in mind if you go to eBay they have a tool there people don't even know this people don't even check out what eBay has they've got a lot of resources for you to use one of them is the eBay title optimization tool link go check it out now you can type in the title you think is good hit the button and it's gonna say oh no you fucked up take out this word and this word and put in these other two words and your your title will be optimized for the eBay search engine more people will see it and your item will sell for more yes thank me very much okay um, like I say okay that covers the time to sell it when to buy your time to sell it oh and you can also buy stuff on Craigslist too that's a that's a big thing I've just never done it uh, when to sell <clears throat> when to start your listing the other thing you need to do is great photographs if you don't need to if you don't know how to make your photographs look good learn it go learn Photoshop optimize the contrast optimize the size throw in some drop shadows you know just make it look really good don't have a bunch of clutter in the background you know it, it, it really makes a difference put four or five different photographs good well-lit photographs of your items and they'll sell for more um, optimize your titles optimize the time good photographs bang it's that simple so uh, those are a few just a real quick few uh, tips that'll really increase your sales and a way to make money on eBay right now just by buying things off time okay that's it this light is making me sweat like a hog I gotta go um, I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos on this kind of stuff so subscribe and also go subscribe to my meta cafe channel where I'm gonna be posting a lot of these videos too that are gonna be exclusive to meta cafe so you're gonna wanna see them and uh, I'm gonna keep you in the money I'm gonna teach you everything I know so get on it alright people adios sayonara good ebaying and uh, good luck cheers